Hey guys. Hey, welcome or welcome back to Cooking and Eating Adventures with Cola. If you are new to this channel, please go ahead and subscribe down below and make sure that that post notification bell is turned on all that way you're notified every single time your girl drops a new video and give the video a thumbs up. Oh yeah, and share it too. So, hey y'all. Hey, we are about to make some tacos. Um, we're gonna be making I think I'm gonna show you making both types of tacos. I'm gonna make steak tacos because my son, those are the tacos he'll eat, and I'm gonna make ground turkey tacos. I did have to buy um the ground turkey um patties that's already padded out because they were buy one get one free. I wanted the regular just ground turkey. Um, it was also buy one get one free, but I can easily just scramble up the hamburger meat and turn it into what I needed to do to make the tacos. And so that's what we're about to do. We're gonna make turkey tacos. And we're going to make steak tacos. Now, I bought two different type of sauce. I always use um, the Taco Bell taco sauce for, like, hamburger meat or the ground turkey tacos. But I don't really like using it for steak tacos, even though it do taste good on steak tacos, too. Don't get me wrong. But I got this other um, type of taco sauce, a verde type of taco sauce for the steak tacos. I'll show you guys um, once we get started. So, since I did all that blabbing. And there's nothing else left to be said. Let's get this thing cracking and smacking. So we have our right. here. We're just gonna add a little bit of olive oil and we're gonna also add some butter to the olive our oil. Our chopped up taco meat steak here. It's been washed and clean. We're just gonna season it with some seasoning. With some black pepper, just a little black pepper. We're gonna next go in with some salt. I don't have my regular salt, so I'm gonna have to use the salt that I have. Just a little bit of salt garlic powder of course i'm out of onion powder because i would have used onion powder we're gonna put plenty of garlic though y'all that's just how i do we're gonna use some accent hold up there we go this helps the flavor and then we're gonna put a little bit of sugar i always put a little bit of sugar when i'm making um steak tacos on my meat so we're gonna put some sugar and then we are gonna add the butter to the skillet and we're gonna get the cooking this oil is hot we're dropping the butter in we're gonna let the butter skate once that butter melts almost all the way then i will add the meat that's flat it, y'all. I wasn't intending to do that. We're going to let this cook and get brown. Normally, I will cut up an onion in here. I don't think I'm going to do that because my son might notice it. Um, and he might be like, no, he don't want it. Even though he'll eat onions, raw onions on the taco. We'll so see. the meat is meeting, okay? We're just going to let this cook. And then we're going to get it with some brown on it. And it's going to be done. Real simple. Hey guys, this is what the steak meat looks like. And it's pretty much done. Now we are going to work on the turkey meat. And I did go back and add some onions, just a little bit, just a little bit. All right, like I said, the steak meat is all done. This is what it looked like. Doesn't that look yummy? I wouldn't add it onions like i said and a little bit of crushed red now um we are about to work on our turkey tacos i decided that i didn't want to mess up two skillets so i transferred this to something and i'm just going to clean the other skillet and we're going to start with our turkey taco meats Here i told you guys that i had to get the gino um the the lean turkey um patties because they were out of the regular turkey meat because these were buy one get one free and so was the regular turkey meat. So it's not a big deal. I can just take uh, the patties out and mush everything all together to make it the way um, I want it, the right consistency for the taco. So that's what we're about to do. I have this bowl here, the same bowl. I washed and cleaned it that I used for the steak taco meat. Um, we are working smarter, not harder, so that I have less dishes as possible. That is my... Um, that is my pet peeve while working in a kitchen. I do not like a cluttered kitchen. I do not like a dirty stove. I don't like dirty dishes in the sink going to bed. Like those things just really, and I don't like a crowded counter. That is, yeah. Sometimes my counter get a little crowded, but I will quickly 
address that you guys i'm getting off topic but okay let's just make these turkey let's put these patties in the bowl and we're gonna mush it together let me get some gloves first because i don't want to touch the meat. so i've already started putting some this is what they look like they basically they're just they're still ground turkey they've just been patted out into um a patty so we're just dropping those in the bowl because i want to smush oops i put the wrong thing i want to smush them all together so that I can um, turn it and see they fall apart anyway make it into my um, or my my tacos my turkey tacos basically I'm using turkey as a substitute for beef to me turkey tacos taste better than beef tacos I like them both and sometimes I even mix the meat turkey and ground beef you guys you can do either one but obviously the turkey is a lot healthier for you so I try to cook corners in every single way possible that I can that's just you know what I've been doing so see how I just was able to mush it together like that because if it was in the pack it would have been all you know how when you get the hamburger meat and the ground turkey in the pack it'd be like squiggly I've said this before that irks my nerves so bad because it reminds me of worms and I'll be thinking in any way like I shouldn't be eating meat in the first place what if it set up worms in your body or something you know and then to see that squiggly like that I'm just silly in that way I'll be thinking about stuff like that okay so I got the meat mixed like I want now we're about to hit this with some seasoning I'm gonna also add onions to the meat while I'm frying it and um, a piece of jalapeno um, that is my go-to fresh onion fresh garlic jalapeno that's what I do when I'm cooking meat I want to say 99.9 .9 percent of the time guys so let me grab my seasonings and I'll be right back so I don't know why my lighting is like tripping out for some reason it's just being weird let's see there we go let's see if we can keep it that way uh i don't know but anyway let's season black pepper you season your meat however you want um my go-to's for this is black pepper a bunch of garlic powder onion powder a little bit of salt because i'm gonna use the taco seasoning mix some accent and some creole seasoning and then of course i'm going to add fresh onions to it while i'm frying it in the skillet and that's what you will see me do right, we have our turkey meat in the skillet we are going to let it do what it do we're going to break it up and then i'm going to cut up some fresh onion and jalapeno and so we want to dump some fresh jalapenos and there we're going to dump some fresh onions and we're going to let it cook get to the right brownness of our liking and then we're going to add our taco seasoning mix to it let it cook a little bit more oh yeah we're going to add a little bit of sugar to this meat and the reason for that is because the taco seasoning meat I always um, I mean the taco seasoning pack I always add that to the meat and that make it where I need to add a little bit of sugar it's just a little bit don't worry don't freak out it's not too much just like I only add a little bit of sugar to the steak meat I'm also going to add <clears throat> that's optional but I tell you what it balanced the flavor out a hundred percent okay guys so if you don't want to add the sugar you do not have to add the sugar but hold on one second okay but I will be adding this I'll be using two packs of this um, so that's why you didn't see me really add any salt because this has salt in it and I also use the Creole seasoning that has salt and then I'm gonna use some hold on again I'm gonna use my go-to my Lipton onion soup mix I'm only gonna use one pack two packs comes in a box I'm using one pack because of the amount of meat I have and yeah and that's how I season my meat so we're using Lipton onion soup mix we used Creole seasoning we use black pepper we use garlic powder onion powder if you have it I didn't have it this time but that's normally what I would use accent and we're gonna use a little bit of sugar we use some fresh jalapeno 
some onion, and you can use fresh garlic if you choose. And then that's pretty much it. We're going in with our Lipton, our Lipton onion soup mix. Just put that right on in there. Now we are about to go in with our taco seasoning. Ooh, let's see. Hold on. All right. Just add that in there. Seem tearing up this. All right, we're gonna do that. We're gonna add one more pack. Um, the steam is kind of messing with the camera, and then we're gonna add a little bit of sugar, and then that's it. Let it cook, that's you guys. Our turkey taco meat is done. All we need to do is just make our tacos. We got our fixings. Let me tell you what we have. We got some tomatoes. I forgot the cucumber. We have some iceberg lettuce because I use that type of lettuce when I'm eating like ground beef tacos or turkey tacos. I don't like the romaine. Um, and we have what tomatoes, avocado. I wanted the Mexican sour cream, but I couldn't find it. I prefer the Mexican sour cream. And we got some onions, red onions, white onions. We got some lemons. Yeah, so we're gonna do these tacos up. The steak tacos just gonna have onion and cilantro and some verde sauce. The turkey tacos, we can go for it. I might even put a little sour cream on the steak tacos as well. Uh, oh yeah, we got cheese. We got cheese, baby. So let's do it. Here are all of uh, a majority of the toppings. Um, green onions, white onions, tomato, cilantro. We got our shredded lettuce here. Um, we're gonna use the Kobe Jack cheese shredded and we have sour cream. I wanted the Mexican sour cream, but I couldn't get it. I don't know, they were out or something. And then we are gonna be using these these shells and we're gonna just cook them in some butter um, so let's do that to right now. in the skillet we just kind of flip them over with our hand just like that and we let them cook until they get like um, the right consistency of brown I mean the right um, the right color that we would like for them to be so, that's it Done. Let's assemble. Okay, we're gonna do turkey, some turkey, and then these aren't for me. I'm making this for someone, and we're gonna do steak. Okay, so we're gonna go lettuce, guys, lettuce. Lettuce. I'm not gonna put lettuce on the steak ones, okay? And then here we're gonna go just onion, white onion, white onion. Okay. We're gonna do tomato. Guys, this isn't for me. It would be made a little bit different if it was for myself. And then right here we're gonna do this, like this. Okay. green onion and we got some avocado coming just like that y'all right, so here is the tacos for my son just basic steak tacos with a little bit of onion cilantro we got the lemon here because he loved the lemon and then this person just put loaded down their tacos with some um, avocado they don't want sour cream they don't want cheese so and they're just gonna put sauce and then that's it and that's it and that's all steak tacos turkey tacos don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to my channel if you have not already make sure you tell a friend so that friend can tell a friend and that friend can tell a friend why because sharing is caring positive vibes only guys be blessed bye
<laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye, guys. Don't forget to keep God first. Be kind. Exercise and drink lots of water. Let's keep God first. Be kind. Exercise and drink lots of water. Now throw up kindness the same way you throw up confetti. Bye, guys. And don't be petty. Well, maybe sometimes. No, I'm just kidding. Don't be petty, y'all. Don't be petty. Y'all, don't be petty. I see a lot of pettiness going around on this YouTube streets. Real petty, Eddie, Eddie. All right, y'all. Be blessed. Until the next time. Bye.